to my channel, you are asked to differentiate with respect to x, 3x minus 2, bracket x squared plus 3. You are going to do, do, do this using what? Product rule, okay? Now, let, what is product rule? Let me introduce you to that. Product rule is the rule that you use in differentiation when you are multiplying two expressions. Notice that this one is multiplying this one. So you are going to use product rule. The product rule, this is it. It says that if y is equal to uv, okay, that if you are to differentiate your y with respect to your x, dy dx, okay, it's going to be equal to, write your u, you write your u, differentiate your v with respect to x, okay, plus write your v and differentiate your u with respect to x. See what I mean? dy dx, don't worry, I'm going to explain this as well for those of you that don't really understand what I'm talking about here. dy dx is equal to, you write your u, differentiate your v, that is the v dx, that is the meaning of differentiate, plus you write your v, differentiate your u. It's very easy. Now, how do we know our u? How do we know our v? How do we even go about it? Follow me and see how this is done. You can see that the equation says that y, y is equal to what? 3x minus 2 into what? x squared plus 3. If I should relate this to this, okay? This says that y is equal to uv. You understand? So it means that our u, our u is equal to 3x minus 2, while our v is equal to x squared plus 3, Okay? That is the first thing you need to put in mind or to keep in, keep in mind. Now, we can start, we have to start with u first. Bring out your u. Your u is what? 3x minus 2. You have brought out your u. Then differentiate that u. Differentiate the u. Now, how do you differentiate it? I'm going to explain this very well. Differentiate your u. That is the u, the x. Is equal to... This 3x is sentenced as 3x raised to the power of 1. But the 1 is removed because it's not necessary. Because x raised to the power of 1 is x. So no need of putting that one. But it's you that is about to differentiate that should know that, ah, there is an invisible one here because it's very important. Now, how do you make use of it? The u, the x now is going to be, this one is going to multiply this 3. You are going to say 1 times 3. Then you write your x raised to the power of 1. x raised to the power of 1. Then subtract 1 from it. That is your, you have differentiated 3x raised to the power of 1. You see how easy it is. You write your 1 times 3. 1 times 3. That is it here. You write your x. You write your x. 1. You have 1 there already, right? Minus 1. That is just it. So, minus, when you differentiate a constant, the answer is 0. It has a proof, but because of time, I cannot say do it here. But when you are differentiating a constant, any constant you differentiate, the answer is zero. All right? So this is my note. Okay, so this is what we have. So it means that our du over the x is equal to 1 times 3 will give us 3. Okay? We have x here already, x. 1 minus 1 will give us 0. Okay? Minus 0. There's no need putting that one down as well. So, this implies that du over the x is equal to, no need of repeating this thing here. I need this space. So, that means this is equal to 3 times 1 because x raised to the power of 0 is 1. Okay? Any number, anything raised to the power of 0 is 1. So, it's 3 times 1 which is what? 3. So, it means that du dx gave us what? 3 as the answer. And remember that this is our u. You will see why I'm, <laughs> I'm putting this inside this box later. Okay, we are done with our u. We have gotten our u, brought out our u and we differentiated it. We are now going to bring out our v. And what is our v? x squared plus 3. So we have that v is equal to x squared plus 3. We are now going to differentiate our v, okay? So we are going to have the v over the x is equal to the v dx now is equal to, remember what I told you, in this case now, this x squared has 1 at the back that is invisible. Always note that because it's, uh, it's somehow for you to write 1x squared, it doesn't make sense. 
okay so that's why they normally write x squared but you should know that there's an invisible one here so if you are to differentiate x squared it's going to be like we did here this one times this two this one times this two you write your x then write your squared as well and subtract one and subtract one from it just like we did here okay so you find out that this is equal to one times two will give you two you write your x right then two minus one is what one now there's no need putting one here again because x raised to the power of one is x so it means that when you differentiate your x squared you are going to have two x all right sorry i do not add plus zero but know that there is plus zero here because when you differentiate your three it's going to give you zero okay there's plus zero at the back of this or let me put it here plus zero which now give us what two x raised to the power of one which is two x all right we have gotten our dv dx to be what two x we are now going to put this thing that we got into this particular equation all right so we are going to put whatever we have into this equation now okay now listen we have we are now going to do our dy dx okay so dy over the x now is going to be equal to what is our u our u is what 3x minus 2 okay 3x minus 2 so we are going to write 3x minus 2 here what is our dv dx i'm following this what is our dv dx our dv dx gave us what 2x so we are going to have 2x here okay plus we have plus here then what is our v our v is what x squared plus 3 x squared plus 3 so we write your x squared plus 3 now what is our du dx our du dx gave us what 3 gave us 3 okay at this point now we have gotten all we need let me clear this let me this. So this is what we have here. dy over the x is equal to 3x minus 2 into 2x plus x squared plus 3 into 3. Okay? So dy dx now is equal to, we are going to open the bracket, okay? 2x times 3x is going to give us what? 6x squared. 2x times minus 2 will give us minus 4x, okay? Plus... 3 times x squared will give us 3x squared. Plus 3 times 3 will give us what? 9. Now, our dy over the x is equal to, we collect right terms. It's going to be 6x squared plus 3x squared minus 4x plus 9. Okay? If you have followed me to this level, it means that you really enjoy what I'm doing. Please click on the subscription button and also on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video all right thank you very much so it means that your dy over the x is equal to 6x squared plus 3x squared will give you what 9x squared minus what 4x plus 9 and that is your final answer using what product rule do have a lovely day and bye